Hey everyone, it's Movie Lover Warren 20 here, and I'm here with a brand new movie review for another 2021 released film. Yeah, well, the one that's not from Warner Brothers this time. One from Disney. And not a live action one, one of their animated films. So, and this review is for Raya and the Last Dragon. I guess so. Yeah. I had just got back from um, seeing here in my own room Ryan the Last Dragon. And um, now before I get into my review, guys, I was going to say that um, I had some... When I saw the teaser, I was kind of... I didn't react to it, but I did see the teasers, I mean trailers for it, and I kind of was invested into it a little bit. I mean, I actually like that Disney was finally going back to being doing an original animated film because they're all they've been doing is because their last two movies have been sequels that I have not liked. Yes, guys, I have not. I did not like Frozen Two. Well, I hate the first one as well, but I hate the first one more, and I definitely did not like Ralph Breaks the Internet. Same with Pick. I mean, same kind of goes for Pixar. I didn't like, I also didn't like Toy Story 4, and I definitely did not like the car sequels, and I definitely did not like Monsters University. So, this was a good thing that Disney was finally resting or stopping their sequels for once, and actually doing something original. Which was very nice. And um, another thing I was hoping to do is that I really hoped it would... This movie actually um, stars Kelly Marie Tran, who us Star Wars fans all know. And guys, I'm bashing um, directors and producers on this part, guys. So, just before, just a little heads up. I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing the actress on this part. I'm bashing the writing of her character. Was known for playing before this. Rose Tico from the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy, aka the worst Star Wars character ever. But that was all Kathleen Kennedy's fault, Ryan Johnson's fault, basically Disney's fault for that plot. So, but from what I've seen, it seemed like this would be the perfect restart, refreshing restart to her career, and hopefully, when it'll finally give her a good character. So, I went into the film, and I gotta say, it was terribly amazing, yeah. Not trying to copy anybody, guys, but I, yes, I loved Ryan the Last Dragon. It was probably one of Disney's best movies in a while, especially compared to some of their other disappointments. Other disappointments I forgot to mention were the Aladdin remake, the Lion King remake, ugh. Oh, and yeah. It was loads, loads better than that garbage Mulan remake. That is my most hated movie of last year. Yeah. I can go on why I hate why I consider that the worst movie of 2020, but I'm not doing this for this review. I just want to review the movie I watched for this video, guys. So, what is the film about? Well, long ago, in the fantasy world of Kamandra, humans and dragons live together in harmony. However, when sinister monsters known as the Druun threaten the land, the dragons sacrifice themselves to save humanity. Now, 500 years later, those same monsters have returned, and it's up to a lone warrior to track down the last dragon and stop the drone for good. So yeah, that's what the film's about. Now, yeah. was it probably one of their masterpieces in terms of films like The Lion King, or Zootopia, or most of their Pixar stuff, or was it like as good as Soul? Well, no, but it was still a very fun, it was still a very decent movie, and pretty... It's definitely funny at times, too. Like especially, it's definitely one of their best in terms of, like, world building, and it's got this very fascinating setting mythology, and... But, 
On the bad side, the story does really falter a little bit, but here's all the good stuff about it. I mean, so, the animation is very strong and very realistic, even though a little too realistic, where sometimes it kind of looks like photographs and most of their computer animated films have that kind of flaw. Flaw times, and... And also, another thing, um, compared to some of their... Compared to some of their previous stuff, this one, this movie is actually much more dramatic and serious compared to mo among the more dramatic and serious Disney movies, which I really liked. And it's not doing the Frozen bull crap, where it's all lighthearted. And there's actually no songs in this one, guys. It's actually not a musical. Well, several of their films are not musicals anymore, but but you get my points. Which was, and it's actually a good thing because. We hardly get, ever since 2016, we've been barely getting a lot of serious kids' movies, and it's been really, and, I'm, and it's really been starting to irritate me a lot. I'm like, glad we're finally, we got one serious kids' movie, like, for once. Once, and, soon, and, um, now, of course, um, and, of course, um, and the protagonist, uh, Ryan, was actually probably one of the best female protagonists ever, and definitely, yeah, and definitely how a true female character should be, should be portrayed. Yeah, that goes for you, Kathleen. But, yeah, definitely a better female character compared to a lot of other female leads I could go on about. Definitely one I'd rather look up to. And definitely... Definitely a much better character that Kelamir Tran has played. Especially a massive improvement over Rose. And of course, there's other... And the other lead character of the film is Sisu, who was played by Aquafina. So it was probably, it was probably the best character in the film and probably the funniest character. <laughs> this character of the film, and... Now, I mean, sometimes it kind of don't... Sometimes the jokes of the film don't really fit with the setting or tone, and and it kind of can bog down Sisu's first few scenes. Yet, But the comedy... Her comedy does slow down. She becomes a little more dramatic. A little more dramatic throughout the story, which is actually very nice. The, the room, and there is, like, the, and the... The movie has this theme that basically... It's where everyone should come together and not be divided and stand united. And but how they executed the message was kind of a bit questionable. Like there's the there's kind of one character that I wish did get some repercussions for all the problems that character caused, but even though the even though that wouldn't really be fitting for the moral, but but it, here it just kind of felt like an excuse to not properly redeem a character and Character, but oh no, I actually kind of like that message. It's something Disney never really did with most of their films. Well, Zootopia somewhat did it, but I'm glad they're doing it again with this one. So that was very nice. But all in all, guys, um, Disney really delivered with this animated movie. Um, cast really sounded like they had a fun time. Well, fun time recording their lines for this, and I could tell Disney. Probably the first project Disney actually seemed like they put effort in in like years to come, a lot of years. Probably, probably one of the greatest ever since 2016. Especially after the funk they've been really been in for the past four years. Well, during the four years, there were like a few rare good ones we had, like uh, Coco, Incredibles 2, and Soul. But that was. Well, I'm not including their Marvel stuff because that those are not Disney movies. They're just distributed by Disney, so Marvel does not count. And their Disney Plus shows like Mandalorian, those don't count either. I mean like for their most of their animated stuff. Those three were about it. Yeah. So they really delivered it well with this animated movie. I'll definitely give Disney that much. I mean it's definitely an enjoyable animated movie in many ways. I mean, storyline was good. Very definitely a very straightforward and easy to follow. It had really good characters. 
And there was, there was not cluttered down with any side plots or sub stories. But no, this one actually is straightforward and actually gets to the certain points it needs to. Yeah. I mean, sure, it doesn't offer as much as it could to some people, but hey, it is what it is, and I still had a, I still had a good time watching it. Sorry, guys. Now, Ryan Last Dragon has very amazing and visually stunning looking CGI animations, and and if when you are able to watch the movie, you'll be pretty bedazzled, and because I love the impressive CGI, even if I had a bit of a problem with it at times, and and perfect art style they used for the animated film. I mean, it, while yeah, it looked realistic, a little too realistic, like I've said before. But it still maintains sense about like being an animated film and but colors, details, sharpness to it all and dynamic flow very well to it. Like I definitely would give a two thumbs up to the CGI department who worked on this movie and And yeah, so my recommendation you feel like checking out an actually good Disney movie with a good Disney female lead, I definitely give this a watch. It's definitely probably the best animated movie this year, and, and better than Tom and Jerry. Oh, yeah, way better than that garbage that's I had to review last week called Tom and Jerry. Ugh. I could get into that, but not for this video. But, so, that wraps up my review for Ryan the Last Dragon, and here's how I would rank it. I am going to give Ryan the Last Dragon an 8.5 out of 10. Well... So far, that's four 2021 movie reviews. That's pretty good so far. And, um, yeah. This is kind of proving to be a better year than last year, that's for sure. So far, it was one bad movie, and so far, one decent movie, and two good films so far. But we'll just have to see how the rest of the films that are still getting released this year, to streaming or whatever, See how they do, and um, I really hope this film does. I really hope that this film does well for both platforms because, because I think this is like rumored to be. This is how like Disney's going to be following this strategy they're doing with the Disney Plus release and the theaters release stimulously, depending on if if Black Widow might be worthy enough for both those. So I really hope it does well because so that Black Widow can so Black Widow can hopefully just. Hopefully, not saying it will, that's because, well, because that's all Kevin Feige's decision, gets released. But then again, I can already bet Kevin Feige, of course, is not going to let that happen because, hey, it's, it's all about money. Money's all that matters to him. I can see why he'd want it to go like straight to theaters, but come on. But whatever. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this and want to see more, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.